Hello dear friends, welcome back to Top Lesson for you. Dear friends, as we are introducing anatomy, right? So in the previous lecture I have discussed about the different regions of the abdomen and what are the organs which are present in your abdomen in, different, in those different regions. We have discussed those in a big detail. If you want to watch those lectures, so I will give the links of those videos in the description of this video you can go and watch those lectures also to have a clear concept of the abdominal regions and the organs which are situated in those regions right now in this lecture i'm going to discuss about the abdominal quadrants right what are abdominal quadrants how are they created and what are the structures and organs which are found in the abdominal quadrants I have drawn each quadrant separately, right? So that we will discuss the organs which are present in each quadrant of our abdomen separately to have a clear knowledge of those organs which are present in the abdominal quadrants. So first of all, let me show you how do we draw the abdominal quadrants, how do we create those quadrants, right? Quadrants are the rect triangular, um, sorry, rectangular parts of your abdomen in which different organs are situated these in, in order to create why do we create these quadrants right we create these quadrants in order to locate the different organs first of all the next thing the next important thing which is important is they help in the examination in the physical examination or in the radiological examination of the patient while you are examining your patient uh, while he is lying on the table or he is any pain in different uh, regions of abdomen how do you locate those pains right how do you say in which part of the abdomen there is a pain there is a in which uh, in the different uh, the certain organ is located in which part of the abdomen right so you don't say that in that part of abdomen no we say that in that quadrant of the abdomen in that region of the abdomen certain organ is located right so this is anatomy not a gapshap right look carefully i will draw a big diagram here and we will create those quadrants how do we create that look carefully first of all you should know that dear friends this is the sternum right right and uh, you know that this is the body of sternum this is the xiphoid process of the sternum right xiphoid process okay these things i'm writing they are very important that's why i'm writing them right then you know that here we have our symphysis pubis right here we have our symphysis pubis okay so there here are two pubic bones we know these are our pubic bones here right so these are the pubic bones and this is the pubic crest and then there is it's like this done like this okay now look carefully this is the abdominal cavity and behind the, 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 the sternum there is the thoracic cavity so this is our sternum okay here is our diaphragm located right you just consider that this is our diaphragm okay so below the diaphragm there is your abdominal cavity and above the diaphragm there is your thoracic cavity right then if we complete our diagram like this okay this is now our friend has been complete it right so this is his abdominal cavity and this will be here will be his thoracic cavity above there is thoracic cavity below this is the abdominal cavity now look carefully what do i do how to create all these abdominal quadrants look carefully first this part here will be the umbilicus of our friend right so this is the umbilicus umbilicus now look carefully what do we do we do uh, uh, we draw a line which extends from the zephyr process of the sternum right a line is drawn vertically right this is called median plane which plane this is the median plane 
why median plane because this line this section this plane is drawn in the mid line of the body right in the mid sagittal plane of the body that's why we call it median line or median plane right this plane will extend from the zephyte process of the sternum and will cross your umbilicus and it will go down and reach to the what pubis symphysis right so what is this part this is pubic symphysis so what did we do we draw a line which extends from the zephyte process of the sternum and moves down crosses the umbilicus and further moves down to the symphysis pubis right this is our vertical plane or this is our median plane right then what do we do then we cross a line just right at the umbilicus which crosses the vertical line horizontally right so this will be our horizontal horizontal plane how many planes did we draw we draw median plane or vertical plane vertical plane right and then we draw a horizontal plane or this is called trans umbilicus plane right which plane trans trans means which crosses umbilicus means umbilicus trans umbilical plane so how many planes do we draw in order to create the four quadrants of your abdomen we draw we catch two planes the median or vertical plane the horizontal or the trans umbilical plane right the median or the vertical plane will begin at the zephyte process of your sternum and will move down towards the symphysis pubis and it will be vertically and the horizontal line there will be uh, the line which will cross this vertical line right at the umbilicus this is called your horizontal plane or the trans umbilical plane right so by drawing these two planes the vertical and horizontal planes right at your abdominal abdomen we created how many quadrants we have created four quadrants right this quadrant is your right as it is present on the right side of the body we say this is right and it is present on the upper side right upper quadrant okay this is right upper quadrant and this one is also present on the right side of the body but it is lower to that so we say this is right lower quadrant okay and this one this quadrant is present on the left side so we say left and upper quadrant okay and this one is present on the left side but lower so we say left lower quadrant so how many quadrants we have created we have created about four quadrants we have divided our abdominal cavity into four quadrants the right upper quadrant the right and the left upper quadrant the right lower quadrant the left lower quadrant and you can see that each quadrant has been drawn separately right this is the structure which is shown by upper quadrant right upper quadrant here and the organs which are located in the right upper quadrant we will discuss that this quadrant shows the right lower quadrant right and the structures which are in that I will discuss this quadrant as you can see here this is the left upper quadrant right and this one is the left lower quadrant so let's go in detail of these each quadrant and see which structures which organs are formed in the each quadrant of our abdominal cavity friends if you like our lectures please share these videos please subscribe our channel and please do comments to me also thank you so much let's go for the uh, structures present in the right upper quadrant